Welcome to Reclaimed Heritage, a place where we discuss traditional skills for the practical home. We're your hosts, Christy, Carrie, and Elaine. Truly, love is delightful, and pleasant food, supplying as it does, rest to the weary, strength to the weak, and joy to the sorrowful. It in fact renders the yoke of truth easy and its burden light. St. Bernard. Well, welcome back. We are on season two, and this is episode nine. And today we are going to be discussing hot water bath canning, right? Yeah. Yeah. Finally, yeah. I think hot water bath canning doesn't freak me out as much as your pressure canning nonsense, but we'll talk about that too. But yeah, yeah. yeah. what's next? We're going to start with the easier. I mm-hmm. think it's easier. Right? It is. It is. There's higher acid content in most, most of it, so it's not as scary. It's not mm-hmm. the pressure. Although the Instapot, <laughs> I feel, has made people less intimidated by the pressure canner. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think so. I don't know. You know, I'm, like the sounds it mm-hmm, makes. Like mm-hmm. it's not sometimes right it's, releasing the steam, it, right? All like of that. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is better, but I don't know. They still look like. Listen, those pressure canning pots look like some medieval contraption. I think they are. They're like locked are shut. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. Well, I, I, it's not a bad thing that you would really want to make sure you're doing it right and read right. the directions and yeah. I wouldn't want to go into it lightly either. <laughs> Could end very badly. <laughs> it's probably one of those things where, like, you don't just wing it. No. Yeah. yeah I don't. No. Yeah. But the stories of pressure canning and what can happen mm-hmm. kind of remind me of when you go through driver's ed and they show you the video of, mm-hmm. like, the totally mangled mm-hmm. car right. to ensure that you're going to drive safely, but it shouldn't scare you to the point where you never drive. And I think no, that's sometimes I, what yeah. pressure canning does. Mm-hmm. No, I feel mm-hmm. like it's like before you go on that trip, right? You're mm-hmm. checking the oil, you're checking the tires, right. you're checking, so you're checking your pressure canner each time too, mm-hmm. or your hot water bath canner, really. You're, you're checking yeah. your equipment to make sure it's not faulty or going to give right. you issues. So you sound like you know what you're talking about. I so have done quite a you, bit of You've done a lot. of it, yeah. Have you, Carrie? No. 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 <laughs> No. I she buy canned will food. Be. I she like canned will food. be. <laughs> I like to look at canned food online and in Christie's basement. But no. Or get them as Christmas presents. Yes. Yeah. Those are my favorite. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten anything canned for a Christmas present. No? But I don't think so, unless my memory is like crazy, but I don't How long have we gone to church together? I've got yeah. some yeah. delicious like hot peppers. Mm-mm. Yeah. Awesome. From the Goldsmiths. Yeah, my aunt. I mean, I come from a family of people who have all canned, but I like many of the things we talk about, <laughs> it just didn't come to me. <laughs> it skipped a generation. Uh, That's all right. We're reclaiming yeah. it, right? Right. Yes. That's yes. right. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, but before we dive into hot water bath canning, how was your week? It was excellent. Yeah, we had a nice event last night. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's a shocker. We were at the same event. <laughs> you're, you're not going to believe that. Yes. But it yes. was a right to life event. Um, mm-hmm. It was excellent. It was Good excellent. food. The speaker was amazing. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, she was. Um, we got a chance to speak with the speaker afterwards at length, and she actually had been eyeballing my younger boys as mm-hmm. they were walking back and mm-hmm. forth. And she was expressing how wonderful it was to see them because she was saying that. You know, exposing them to truth when they're young means they're not being filled with the lies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and that takes root right. in their heart. So okay. it was really nice. And it was funny because she had um, a picture of her family, which I know mm-hmm. you saw there, and the yeah. boys. And I looked at her two first boys mm-hmm. and I go, they could mm-hmm. be in my family. They, like, they yeah, look yeah, right. very similar well, colors. Well, what did yeah. she mm-hmm. say to me? She goes, when I saw your boys, I was thinking, <laughs> they could be in my family. That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, but it was lovely. So that was probably the highlight. After um, we had illness in our house for oh, like yeah, days, you guys are really sick. we've been sick um, with a really weird illness, but we're finally over it. So mm-hmm. I was just thrilled to get out of the house and see people. Yeah, we've great. definitely had like colder than normal weather, which is oh, kind of rain. Finally, I'm not. Yes, I'm not going to be sad. We had yeah. rain like Sunday night. Was so a couple of days ago, and then today mm-hmm. we've had rain all day. But that was after like two weeks of no rain. So yes, um, and like one of the driest yeah. springs mm-hmm. completely. I mean, our, I was telling one of you that my like our um, 
pasture. So my front yard isn't dormant, but one of my pastures is completely dormant already. It's crazy. That is Dry crazy. Dry as bone, crunchy really? when you walk on it. Just completely dead. Dormant. That was your grail yes. test on that. Yeah, maybe. What'd you say? We took a walk the other day, and the grass where we live, it's mm-hmm. like, it just got fried. Like, in mm-hmm. everyone's yard. Even the people who had good grass. Mm-hmm. Really? Like, yellow, yeah, that's mm-hmm. orange. It just... Yeah. It was almost like there was a solar flare. Like, yeah. Did I miss a solar flare? But like our little, it's not even a creek. It's just like a little runoff. But it's, bo- I mean, bone dry. Like just, there was no water. Really? So mm-hmm. Yeah. It's Strange. bad. So good. The good news is we got some today and it's been mm-hmm. like an all day slow and steady, steady rain. Soaking which has been, rain. Yeah. yeah. What we've needed. So, which we didn't get our green beans out until just in the last few days. So mm-hmm. we're excited. Hopefully it'll be ideal. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, green beans and beets are our last things to go in. So tons of corn. My husband. Oh, of course. But he starts so early and plants he does. so many rounds just to see what's going to take. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's his favorite. But your corn is delicious. Yes, it is. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. I'm, so yeah, I'm not beans. complaining. It's right. just funny the things in older age that mm-hmm. bring you so much joy <laughs> you just do not see coming. <laughs> All the corn. <laughs> Watching the corn grow yeah. is just not. I mean, there's an old Tim McGraw song in there somewhere, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Yes. We should have known. <laughs> yes. Yeah, watching my corn pop up and around. Yeah. The teeth. Goldsmith. It is. Well, it's like the, it just keeps on giving because every time you serve people corn <clears throat> all year round out of your canned corn, it's mm-hmm. fantastic. So I actually mm. don't can my corn. We're talking about canning, but mm. I don't can the corn. I freeze it. Oh, do you mm-hmm. freeze yeah, it? Yeah. It's oh, better. Okay. It's sweeter. Is it's it? better. It's, yeah. Interesting. Takes up a ton of room mm-hmm. in yeah. the freezer, but it's all right. It's worth it. Mm-hmm. Awesome. All right, lady. Well, I've done no hot water canning. canning. I know Elaine's done some mm-hmm. hot water you canning. You have all the supplies for it, though, oh, really. Listen, this is how I roll. I buy all the supplies. <laughs> 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 She's coming all over. We are going to get it. I buy all the things oh, you need supplies. to. And I'm like, uh. yeah. So, okay. Why, why, uh, why would you? Wait, let me start again. Why would you hot water bath over pressure canning? Like, what makes the determination? The acid level mm-hmm. in your food. So, okay. where you would check that and what you would, which way you would go would be the USDA site, okay. which is where I'm going to send you all the time. Are there tons of other resources? Yes. But could they possibly give you questionable advice? Yes. Mm-hmm. So, the USDA really does set the... Um, rules and guidelines for what it should look like now that they haven't always been accurate and people do things off grid and Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know our grandmothers can with wax seals for years and we're able to keep food Mm -hmm. so but if it goes bad it goes bad and of course we don't want the liability responsibility here so i'm Mm -hmm. definitely going to send you to the usda Mm -hmm. right um but yeah, no, some things that are high acid foods would be like anything really fruit. Mm-hmm. Um, so jellies and jams and preserves, um, tomatoes, okay, all those kind of things, which is like the second best way to have your garden fresh tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Pickles. they last. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you're pickling, you're mm-hmm. using vinegar. Mm-hmm. There's your high acid right mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Any kind of, yeah. Very Beets. Cool. Yeah. Those kind of things. Okay, so I can find the list of foods that I can mm-hmm. do with a hot water bath mm-hmm. online. And um, is it a special pot, or can I just use any pot? They that- sell them, and they're pretty re- unre- pretty reasonable, like at Walmart or something, or okay. even thrift. But it really is just a large stock mm-hmm. pot where you can fit seven to nine cans on the bottom. Okay, can you layer it? No. I was like, okay. What? <laughs> not typically. They're not that deep. Well, I know. At like least the ones that I you can, you right? You can. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's... And you're not filling it completely with water in the pressure canner. Okay. So the, the pressure is what's actually right. canning gotcha. the jars and mm-hmm. causing that vacuum seal, whereas the hot water needs to be over, over the top of the jars in the lids when you're hot water bath canning. I gotcha. All right, right. So one layer. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to ask you questions about all the things that make mm-hmm. me not want to do it. <laughs> Okay, the sterilization of the jars. Mm -hmm. What does this look like? Boiling Boiling jars in hot water. (laughs) That's that's it. It's so easy. Okay. So while you're preparing whatever it is you're canning Mm -hmm. in those jars, you put them in cold water in your hot water bath canner and 
turn it on high until it boils. But then how do you keep it sterile after that? Well, you're using you're them using right after it. you do that. I know, but how do you make sure that you haven't touched any you're parts? You're not oh, well, sneezing okay. in it. Like, this is true. But I usually have a separate <laughs> pot. <laughs> and I have my lids and everything in there. So then I have the little contraption. If you've bought the stuff, you probably own it. And it has a little magnet on it. So when you like take the mm. jar lid out, you're not even touching it with your hands. You're literally taking it it's out. It's a wand. It's a wand. And then you just place it on top. But you're washing your hands. So, so it's okay you if doing, it's okay because okay. you're going to have water. So I'll walk you through the process. So what you need is a, some sort of pot with a lid for right. hot water bath canning. Jars, the ceiling lids, mm-hmm. and the screw-on lids. Parts. Um, the magnet thing is awesome. Mm-hmm. Because, I love it. And also the jar lifter yes, once it's hot to get lifter. them out. Mm-hmm. Um, most hot water bath canners have a rack in them to where you can... Um, there's handles and they fold over the top of the canner. So you can... Um, put your jars in mm-hmm. to sterilize them, and then with hot pads, pull them out and set them up on top to then dump the hot water out of them and get them ready. I just line mine up on mm-hmm. a towel, start putting in whatever it is. If I'm doing strawberry jam, so I after just they start. Boil, you turn your you turn them upside down onto a towel. No, no, right easy. side up because yeah. I'm oh, getting okay. ready to fill them. And I don't really want anything that's sterilized, that, right? I don't want anything touching it. So I have a ball, has all kinds of stuff, but a um, funnel that's mm-hmm. specifically mm-hmm. for canning jars to help the food not hit the rim. So you're doing that. But if it does, you just take a hot paper towel with some hot water on it and wipe the rim, and then you're sealing it. Okay. So okay. you're placing your ceiling lid on there, and then you're screwing the screw top on, and then you're putting it right back, back on the rack. The as soon as you get that filled, you're putting it back in the hot water bath canner for the amount of time that you're supposed to process that food. Okay. So, because yeah. a couple of things I've read, people use many different things to, like, wipe the tops of their mm-hmm. jars. But you don't have to do Mm-mm. those No, because if you just boiled it, there's nothing. I, mean, I don't understand why you're I wiping it. You want that rubber seal to be able to seal on, on yeah. the tops. Um, okay. And then how... Do you have to do anything? So you're going to have an air gap. Mm-hmm. Depending on the food, how you know how high you're going to um, take that food, and whether it's hot or cold packed, that's a difference too. Okay, so if it's hot, do you leave more space than if it's cold? No, I actually leave Light a little less. less. Because it already is closer mm-hmm. to the temperature it's going to get to in the water bath. So it's not going to expand much more than that. And there's also that I, I'm like the tool lady. So I literally purchased one of those beginner packs. Like yeah, you can get them off of Amazon great. that has yeah. all the tools. But mm-hmm. there's this little tool, almost looks like a plastic knife kind mm-hmm. of, that you Which actually you can't just use a butter knife. I know. Mm-hmm. Scrape I've around seen, the I edges. And that yep. just makes sure that any air it's bubbles packed, yeah. and it's packed in tight because you really want that packed in tight. What happens if it's not? It's just going to be floating around and it could go above yeah. the, the line that you stopped at. Much like when we fermented, mm-hmm. we wanted something. We wanted to you keep want it, it submerged. Mm-hmm. Or like for your jelly to gel, you really want it to be. So how far from the top? Half an inch to an inch, depending on how chunky your jam or jelly is. You know, like all of mm-hmm. those kind of things. And I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it matters if you did a little too much space. It would matter if you didn't do enough space. Correct. You would just have left less product in there. So don't done. want the food to touching the top of the yeah, exactly. corner full. What was that? <laughs> You're going to come over and my first <laughs> time going to be a quarter full of food. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> no, because you really do. If you're going to do all the work, you want to get all the food in there all that the you food. possibly look, can. Look at the jar you bought and see how yeah. much space actually is at the top. Mm, it's it's like look. that. <laughs> like a jar of pickles, right? Yes. Yes. Well, I mean, it's like anything. If you're thinking about what you want your food to touch, I'd prefer it not be touching mm-hmm. the metal mm-hmm. lid. Right. I would prefer right. it to be touching the glass. So leave space accordingly if that makes you do an inch of food in your jar. <laughs> I'll come over and redo it for you. <laughs> yes. Okay, so size, the size that you're choosing. Mm-hmm. So jams typically I see done in like what we would say actually was a jam jar. They're mm-hmm. littler. Mm-hmm. What do you like to do in larger Salsa. jars? Oh, I do jelly in bigger jars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I do do the jam in a bigger jar. I do jar. it in pint jars. Well, the, the because, little one. Yeah. Are you talking like the little one? Oh, no, no, no. no. I, wasn't, oh. 
I don't okay. actually know who would. I don't know who half uses pint. Got she's talking half pint jars I, or the smaller ones. Those are Christmas ones. presents. That's those are those. I've done those for you know <laughs> older couples in the church. My That's husband true. will take if I make biscuits. If I had one of those small jars, mm-hmm. it would be one whole jar on one biscuit. Right. Like yeah, uh, and I yeah, it's happened before at our house. <laughs> and I'm like, do you know the amount of work that we? <laughs> I hope I was you enjoyed say, that. I've seen my kids make jam. peanut butter and jelly. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, yeah. Mm. No, you do the bigger jar. Why? Well, because it all depends on how much fruit you have. size, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. And I have been known to do this seasonally, but also I do stuff in the wintertime, too. There's lots of um, jelly recipes, especially that you can use store bought fruit juice mm-hmm. and make great jelly that tastes better than store bought. And you can mess around with sugar measurements mm-hmm. if you need to. And, um, I give them as gifts. Like mm-hmm. it really is a good way to give something homemade that mm-hmm. you know you know is going to taste yummy and be a little more healthy. So very good. You don't only have to can in the summer or seasoning mm-hmm. with your garden. So jam and jelly are the obvious ones. Mm-hmm. Salsa, you said mm-hmm. pickles, which pickles. we did talk about last time. So you pickles. can ferment them and then hot water bath can them. Mm-hmm. I have not done that, but. You can. <laughs> I have for sauerkraut and pickles. So, and well, because here's the, here's my question. Tell me how you would how, would it be high enough acid because of the brine to just immediately hot water bath can them, or would you ferment? You would ferment I, them first. It depends on what it is, and it depends like dill pickles, it, the vinegar and stuff. It does its job. You mm-hmm. want to wait six weeks to eat them, but okay. that it does its job mm-hmm. in the jar. Sauerkraut, you want to ferment it you want it on your countertop and mm-hmm. you want it now i haven't done any of the kefirs i haven't ca- tried to can any of that i've done bone broth i've done mm-hmm. meats i've done other stuff but not in the hot water bath canner in the pressure canner so with your sauerkraut you always hot water bath mm-hmm. right because it is acidic enough yeah, from right. the fermenting yeah. process yeah okay and so, it is easier i find the water bath i <laughs> say that it's easy for me, but I haven't tried to pressure can I? So, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. And then not how long does it stay? Is it based on what you're... It's based on what you're doing the hot water bath canning for? What do you... See the USDA regulation. Well, like, no. Okay, so, like, specifically. <laughs> but if I go to the USDA site, is it going to say, like, It'll sauerkraut? It'll say good for, typically, 40, yes. No, right. but I mean, like, how long do I cook it? How long oh, do I it, oh, yes, keep it? No, it, it, it tells you. Can, no, it tells you how long yeah. to process and it. And it just boils. The and whole depending time? on the size of jars as well. So, like, if you were doing, because I do quart jars of okay. sauerkraut, mm-hmm. so it it will say how long for you know to process quart jars of sauerkraut. And is it specific or is it very general? Like, does it just say like jams in pints? No, for no the, like, it's very it'll specific. say like what kind mm-hmm. of jam? Very mm-hmm. specific. Yeah. And it, are you boiling it or you're just simmering yeah. it? You're boiling. Boiling it. You're bringing that water hot to boiling and then boiling, keeping it bubbling, boiling water for the length of time that it takes, depending on your food. What's your average length of time? Um, like, it depends on the size of jars. Yeah, Again, it can and, like, be how much food minutes, do you have in there? Eight minutes. Yeah. Like, you're not talking an hour. No, it's not it's, hours it's and minutes. hours. I would say half an hour tops. Yeah. Like, for this stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. I'm thinking hours. No. Now, when you take it out, mm-hmm. it's usually not sealed yet. So, you Usually remove it, it with there. your, yeah, mm-hmm. you have to remove it with your jar lifter is the easiest way. Okay. And then I set it again on towels off to the side and I let it sit 24 hours before I move it, touch it, do anything. And the happiest sound is after you've done all that hard work, you mm-hmm. hear them going ping, mm-hmm. ping when they seal. So, you check and make sure that that top isn't wiggly. All right, it should be down, right? It should be down. Yep. Okay. Yeah. If and it's popping, then you did something wrong, and you can and that just, doesn't mean you pitch no, it. Yeah. You can just put, put it in the refrigerator, refrigerator and yeah, eat it and, right now. Yeah, but you're just not. You don't want all it. your jars to have done that. Something. No. Something happened. <laughs> something was wrong in the process. <laughs> but that's why I'm going to guide you through it when we do it. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So then they're perfectly shelf stable. Mm-hmm. And again, on the USDA site, it'll tell you for mm-hmm. how long. Yeah, long on your shelf. Yep. Okay. We know that they are on the safe side. Yes. All the time. Yes. And uh, honestly, I've never had to worry about that. <clears throat> they don't last mm-hmm. that long. So mm-hmm. The pickles Especially do, depending salsa. on how much. But, yeah. yeah. Salsa is like... The jam, the yeah. salsa. Mm-hmm. I go in and they're eating it for breakfast. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, would you like some 
eggs with your salsa or you know no no okay, just, just salsa. eating salsa and mm. with the jam because you know what you're putting into it you don't really mind if they actually just ate it with a spoon mm-hmm. and i don't care if it sets up like they want it and everything either so um i i do the larger jars i it, i like it a little bit runny the kids don't care if it's a tiny bit runny it's sealed it's safe it's it's all of that but as far as like i'm not going for you know, state fair, mm-hmm. right, right, jelly competitions. <laughs> so, is the consistency of your um, food item, j- jam, jelly, whatever, when you put it in, the same as when you no. open it? No, no. What's significant? What's it to different? Set up. It's yeah. Have you ever done any candy making? Mm-mm. Where you dip the spoon in the back of something to make sure, like you can kind of do the same thing with jelly. Oh yes, I know what you're talking about. To like, about. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah the see kids what have. the yeah where have, you're at. Have in you ever made um, homemade cranberry sauce where you pop the cranberries? And, no, I'm sorry, we make it every year. I know but her face though. She's like, it, 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 it doesn't have the can face. marks in it. Oh my goodness, um, no, is no, it? My whole thing. I mean, you you lost me at cranberry oh, sauce. Sorry. Well, I homemade said that. or bought of any kind of out. If you had or anyone who has it. It kind of reminds me of that because when we bake it it's hot it's like liquid but then mm-hmm. it, when it chills mm-hmm. it's like the consistency it gels, it gels yeah. up so the jam will do the same thing mm-hmm. it'll, it'll gel up and it's but so you're not look, you're not waiting for it to like start the setting process before you're sticking your cans no okay good to know question for you mm-hmm. pectin or no mm-hmm. pectin do you use pectin I've done both I like pectin. I know. I think it's easier. It's easier. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's one of those things I don't investigate too much because I don't know that I want to make any change yet. <laughs> you know? <laughs> right now I'm reading about fluoride and I'm just like, oh. One more yeah. thing. Yeah. So I only ask because I have, you know, I have, res- <laughs> so I have a ball um, canning book with tons mm-hmm. of recipes mm-hmm. all the times, everything. Mm-hmm. So I've actually never even gone to that website because mm-hmm. I've, I've just always ran from this book. And they, they have recipes mm-hmm. that are without pectin, but I have... Well, and the pectin um, that you buy from the store typically has your times and when to add exactly. it, recipes uh-huh. in it for whatever fruit you're doing, if you want jelly, if you want jam, mm-hmm. if you want a marmalade, all those things. So, yeah. So, if you're a beginner, starting easy... Those are good easy, places to look, yeah. I mean... Pickles are easy too, but I've I we started with jams, and I think jams are just so easy a mm-hmm. way to get your feet wet. Use pectin, mm-hmm. buy so the can kit. shop the farmers market. Mm-hmm. You don't Which have to have a garden. Done. You can do that. just fruit. Yep. You know, go, do a you pick and mm-hmm. put up a bunch of. Or even when you you know go to Kroger, mm-hmm. and sometimes they'll have fruit that's like you know a whole bag for ninety nine cents. You can mm-hmm. buy a ton of it. It's not going to last very long, but it'd be great mm-hmm. for jam mm-hmm. if you're not eating it fresh. So. What? Nothing. I do that. No, I totally believe you. I was just like, <laughs> what's the cheapest fruit at the store? Oh, it's bananas. Banana jam? Probably not. No. No, no. that's banana chips in your <laughs> dehydrator. <laughs> I was just in the freezer this for is smoothies. my brain goes while you're talking. Like, what's the cheapest fruit? Bananas. Banana no, butter. Banana. Can you make banana butter? No. Nope. This probably wouldn't work out well. <laughs> but, like, I want to do pineapple. I've never done pineapple. I'm okay, going to so, do pineapple this so year. So, my question is, like... What's weird is I'm I'm personally not like a jelly jam person. I, I just don't really eat it. Oh, but you could be. <laughs> I need no more help with anything else. Sweet. <laughs> but it can but no, but yeah. Sweet. So my husband is extremely picky when it comes mm-hmm. to his jam. He only eats one kind. And which one is that? Because he only eats one is kind. It the Ohio I now brand? have no. Oh, really? It's Smuckers. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. But I mean, like, it's Smucker's Red Raspberry Seedless Jam. Okay. For all you people listening, you know, the millions of you, <laughs> stop buying it at the store. Because you I can't, can't find, find it. it. <laughs> There's always, like, one jar, I swear, uh-huh. maybe. But now, well, of course, it's, it's all that my kids will is. eat, and they're obsessed with it. And I, I should give it a whirl to try some other things. But he, they're so oh. picky. But it's a different entity. Like, if they're you made so peach picky. jam, do like peaches? Could do black raspberry juice mm. and yeah. just make it yourself. Yeah. It's yeah. red, but yeah, something. Red raspberry I don't juice, have to give it a whirl, it but it won't have the I will. Seeds. I mean, I'll give Smucker's <laughs> credit. Like they do at least now have like a way better choice. Yes, um, the lower sugar. The lower, the, yeah. And when you turn it, like when you look at the ingredients, I think there's actually just three ingredients. I, maybe two. It could just be the fruit 
and sugar. They, I mean, it's just sugar, not high fructose corn syrup. And they do at least tell you, but it's significantly less than the other one. But what I really, really wanted to do hot water bath canning for was... Um, like what you're talking about, I would love to be able to buy fruit in season. Mm-hmm. So when I really thought I was going to be all gung ho this past winter, and then it didn't. Like when the mandarin oranges come, right? Or I have a daughter who eats like four grapefruits a day, mm-hmm. but then they go out of season, right. uh-huh. and we do nothing until the following mm-hmm. season because to buy canned fruit. Mm-hmm. That is not the first ingredient, high fructose corn right. syrup, is astronomically mm-hmm. expensive. Right. It is ridiculous. And so I would love to just be able to buy fruit that's in season, mm-hmm. particularly the winter all the fruits. the stuff, because mm-hmm. we're all yes. aware of all of those. Yes. Yeah. But then I was reading, I think you can just do it in honey water. You don't even have to add, like, <laughs> yes. additional mm-hmm. sugar. Yes. So I was like, well, then we could just use our own honey. Mm-hmm. So have either of you done this, where you've done fruit? In honey water. Yes. And does it work out? Like, yes. How, what does the fruit taste like? Is it mushy? I mean, it's the consistency is going to change a little bit mm-hmm. because you're processing it. So, yes, it is a tiny bit more mushy, but better still than what you mm-hmm. buy at the mm-hmm. store. So, have you done citrus? Mm-hmm. Do you have to peel all the little white things off the back? As much as possible because it's bitter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that will permeate through yeah, the right. honey and everything, too. Yeah. Yay. I mean, it's fun to work on it. Yeah. So much. What's the kids? Right. Because <laughs> her peeled all the, all the white veins <laughs> off the back. Yeah. Yeah. If you and want then, your grapefruit, there you go. Right, right. So, yeah, that's that would be my main reason for mm-hmm. wanting it is just they go through mm-hmm. when I buy the jars of. I've made grapefruit fruit, fruit jelly that is really good. Oh, that sounds interesting. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's mm. good. Your husband was Yummy. getting something like that from Costco, where it was like a grapefruit mm-hmm. tea added in. But it was like a jelly. You could use yeah. it. You could spread it on your toast. You yeah. could add hot water. I made white yeah. Zinfandel jelly too. <laughs> what? What? I what? Could what? I have. Like, could could you like a peach it's... Moscato jelly? <laughs> can I do right? that? <laughs> I'm sure you could. I'm doing there, I found a recipe and I thought, well, this would be good for Christmas gifts. <laughs> so I did it one year. <laughs> did you give it to all your Baptist friends? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Baptist. We love you. We do. we do. None of them told me it was good, even though I know they liked it. <laughs> but doesn't it cook out the I'm alcohol? sure it does. Right? I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. It just in the like sealed it. jar, it evaporates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so can I can't, I know I think I can reuse what the rings, but not the lids. Correct. Mm-hmm. Even in hot water bath canning, you can't Correct. reuse the lids. You break that seal when you open it, and so they okay. don't recommend using them a second time. Okay. See your no. USDA. But they're not expensive. Mm-hmm. And no. you, you just get a box of replacement. There's a ton of them. But the lids, I mean, the lids are fine. I have, not the lids. The rings. The rings. I'm the blessed. rings are fine. We have a cousin who works for mm-hmm. Bull. So. You get yeah, lots nice. of things. I can just say, hey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, I just got a tool that actually you can use your old lids that were um, used. Mm-hmm. So it, it broke the seal a little bit on, but it's okay. It's called a pump and seal. You actually like put a little sticker on there and punch a hole in your lid, and then you use this tool to vacuum seal it. So, as long as the ring's on with your lid it'll keep it and then it you can do dry goods in that so it's it's but my new can, thing i'm wanting to do the ring you, you need to keep you it to keep for it storage okay. you need to keep the okay. ring on so, so that that's yeah. the thing with if you're not doing that the traditional method you can then remove that ring and reuse, when you're, and reuse it yeah. so you don't have to have as many rings as you do and you don't want to store it with the ring on correct i don't i don't yeah, I don't like yeah. it. Oh, within that 24 hours when it's been sitting and I've left it alone for 24 hours, then I take the rings off and make, check all my seals and um, wipe them down because the hot water bath can't. We have well water, so it leaves like a little bit of a silty, kind of like silty residue on it. Mm, so I wipe those down with a little bit of dish soap mm-hmm. and then they're ready to go downstairs. And so you'll just pitch your lids when you open them. Yeah. Yep. Very good to know. How do you mark your jars, or do you? I will mark them with the year. Yep, on my on the sealed lid. lid. Yeah, that okay. you're gonna chunk because you you don't trust that it's gonna stay on the jar itself right. or anything. Mm-hmm. 
and is there a maximum well i would say probably more with pressure canning which we're not talking about today so hot water bath canning i can't imagine that you do your do you crack the glass do they ever wear out do you just keep using them no the only time i've ever had well i mean i have the occasional broken glass to wear temperature wise something mm-hmm. wasn't right or like i've had a jar for too long in the bottom comes out which those are just normal casualties mm-hmm. of canning and it can be messy and gross but it's other than that it's just sad we've had it happen so when mm-hmm. we make uh, lip balm actually mm-hmm. the way that you have to use it we have to boil mm-hmm. these jars and mm-hmm. we've i would say probably like one out of every five wow crack. now i don't know if it's just because of the length of time that we're doing it but that's so odd yeah that is. maybe it's because it's not a special hot water bath pot like um, maybe the be. bottom They're of it is a different. little bit on well, there. Was, yeah. Okay, so you mentioned the pot. I don't have a hot water bath pot. I just have a regular pot. But like a stock I, pot, yeah. A stock pot. But I put down, um, like I have a metal kind of trivet thing that I put the bottom. So the jars are not directly on mm. the pot. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if you have yeah, it directly no, on. Directly in the, on the early pot. days, I used mm-hmm. a dish towel. <laughs> yeah, you can do that too. But it's really the key <laughs> is not having them directly yeah. on. You need some kind of a barrier. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's mm-hmm. why maybe that's cracked. Kind of I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does yours? Do you put something between? your jars and the bottom of your no i have that rack on my hot water bath oh, canner you have the rack, so right. but yeah in the early so days you do before have i had that so it's not touching the bottom right. of your so right. that might be where the Maybe discrepancy was mm-hmm. so if you mm-hmm. want to try it you don't need to go out and buy you can use a stock mm-hmm. pot you just need to make sure you have dish towel at the bottom some kind of i mean you could even use my instant pot has this metal thing mm-hmm. that that mm-hmm. trivet would work in there just fine mm-hmm. so you don't have to just go out and invest a ton of money just to start you can just use what you have on hand but not directly on not the directly bottom no <laughs> and I, it's probably one of those things that while well, i think it's probably you know under 40 dollars or something who knows with inflation oh, yeah, what right. it looks like right well, now like, and the mm-hmm. popularity of stuff Mm-hmm. happening so yeah because yeah. canning supplies in the last few years have mm-hmm. been more and more mm-hmm. difficult to find yeah but try I, it i mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. it doesn't hurt and it adds another skill that you have in your back pocket for whenever and the satisfaction you get like there's nothing better than getting out you run out of jam you get a new jar and you mm-hmm. made it Oh, my sweet you kids, know, like, I love it. yell. They're, like, so <laughs> mm-hmm. excited when I pull out, you know, pickles or something from mm-hmm. the booth. They're like, yay, you're pickles. And I'm mm-hmm. like, <laughs> they are better. <laughs> and you can be yeah. creative. We always make zucchini pickles, and mm-hmm. you would never know the difference. They taste like regular mm-hmm. pickles, but we always have, like, a bumper crop of zucchini in yeah. our garden. So we pickle yeah. those, too. Mm-hmm. Relish, same thing. We use zucchini to make relish. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I don't yeah. think I've heard of that. Mm-hmm. Now, how do you put up your tomatoes that are not in salsa? I just peel them. So you blanch them. So you get the peels off and then put them in ice cold water, peel them. And I just do stewed tomatoes. That's what I do in quart jars because those can turn into anything. And then you don't have to do a bunch of work ahead of time. So you boil them with the skin on. Uh Uh-huh. Put them in ice water. Uh Uh-huh. Peel the skin off. Mm Mm-hmm. And and then then pack them in jars. Just pack them in jars in hot water bath. Mm Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yep. And then you pull them out to puree them. You don't season them in any kind. No salt. Um, Nothing. Quarter teaspoon of salt. That's it. Do you have to? No, but I like them, and they keep it keeps the water clear, so they look prettier on the shelf. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. (laughs) That's why I wipe all my jars off. So Mm -hmm. when I go downstairs, they look pretty. Looks. They pretty. look pretty when they're downstairs. Only you see them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, I've seen They're beautiful. Yeah. They are beautiful. Yeah. It is really pretty. I've always yeah. wanted those kitchens mm-hmm. where they have the, the beautiful I should do an Instagram post. And they're all yeah. on there. And yeah, but maybe I'll do that. I'll get my dishes off of mm-hmm. there and stick my jars up there. Yeah. Yeah. We were hoping, I was hoping my aunt was going to be here because she does. Mm-hmm. She's kid for a really long time. So my, the thing that I want to look into after we... So hot water bath canning doesn't mm-hmm. seem overwhelming to me. Pressure canning, which we're going to talk about next time, is a whole different story. And then she dry cans. Which is why I got that pump and seal thing. That's, yeah. That is what I'm so hoping to do. I don't know, know what you're talking cans, about like, right now. Because you can do... I think she dry cans more than the sugar, other two. Flour. Mm-hmm. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can do Ritz crackers. Like mm-hmm. dry l- cans? Listen, we try and do good at my house, but my husband, if I'm serving soup and there's not a Ritz cracker in sight, <laughs> he's not happy. Okay. So really? I have to, yes. Oh, wow. Yes. And, and he'll settle for townhouse, but he really prefers Ritz. That's funny because my husband will only eat townhouse and he won't even touch a Ritz cracker. <laughs> so. 
Well, how are they? I, mean, I could That's I it. could be saying that backwards. <laughs> but I think he likes Ritz better. No, he likes Ritz better. Yeah, Ritz are always in stock. Mm-hmm. And but sometimes they'll have them, you know, 10 for 10 every mm. once in a while or something at Meyer. So no, I've it's been known Ritz, to pick them up. Like so, and I, then I thought it would be nice if I could do them in jars and mm-hmm. keep them even longer. Is mm-hmm. this a new thing? This dry canning, like, is this relatively new? No, it's not. I don't think so. No. I mean, but it's a vacuum for a long time. It's, it's yeah. A vacuum some people have done it in their seal. ovens for years, like it, but it's mm. not a USDA condoned thing. So in your oven, it's not. Yeah, then that's the one I shall try. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So she has like, and I should ask her. We can talk about it next time. But like, she has like an old school food dehydrator. Mm-hmm. It looks ancient and it sits on her counter and she, I mean, she like dehydrates a lot of stuff mm-hmm. and then we'll, and then we'll air can it. Can air, it. Yeah. Um, I've done that. And so, I mean. Jerky. Um, it's great. Like when you go downstairs to her rings, basement, like she has I a lot of. I want to see it. Can I go with you when you go? I should have it. I'll, I'll see wait. if I can I'm get her to do a little your video. Yeah. I yeah. Do a video. I'll have her see if I can do a video, yeah. but it's, I will say the things that she has canned are just stuff that, like she does um, M&M peanuts. Like she'll yeah. buy them when they're baking, super cooking some hilarious. Yeah. yeah, but like she doesn't keep anything in its original containers. Everything yeah. gets put in glass. Glass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty. I do that. Well, a lot of that the, as well. In the but I, or yeah. I can mm-hmm. just do that in my ca- well because I have no cabinet doors right now. Right, right. I've been taking like my peanuts out of the and then putting mm-hmm. it in a glass jar. My raisins yeah. because otherwise, it's just it's utter chaos. Yeah, but I'm not. That's not long term mm-hmm. storage. That's I mean mm-hmm. I know that the contents will be gone it. within a week or two. I'm yeah. not vacuum sealing it, but now I'm intrigued. We'll I have to talk about dry yeah. when we talk about long term food storage mm-hmm. because that would fall underneath that and yep. it's separate yeah. from our hot water bath and our pressure canning for sure. But yeah, I need to get some more. <laughs> I'm just imagining me canning M and M's and my husband walking in going, <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> Well, I don't you'd either. have to have hidden storage. I don't because either. If your just, kids spot them, they're gone. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Marshmallows. Oh, yeah. She All does, of it. Yeah. yeah. But it's just the two of but them. She's, and she's and ready. If they are hosting, yes. she's ready, right? Mm-hmm. She doesn't need to run up and get hot chocolate and marshmallows. <laughs> I'm <just> she's ready. <laughs> <laughs> our boys feasting I mean, in no, somebody's basement. I'm imagining like I'm prepping for like Armageddon. Yes. You know, the world's coming to an end, but I have marshmallows. Folks, we have marshmallows. I, I mean, I had pudding cups, so they're kind of right up with the same. The chocolate, next pandemic, chocolate chips I'm and rock, marshmallows. Yes, I have marshmallows. And M&M's. Yeah. <laughs> we have no meat. We, hey, we have marshmallows. This could be important <laughs> as we all become grandmas, that we have the supplies mm, to make the cookies. True. I mean, True. you do want to be that grandma, right? Yeah. What? Carrie's no, not I, making Actually, things. you don't need to be that grandma. So then I can be that grandma. <laughs> I'll be like, go to see Grandma Foise with the healthy snacks. <laughs> That's a well She'll to give you. you. A squishy bar <laughs> and an apple. And some celery. Um, that's right. <laughs> with, with peanut butter and raisins. Yeah. I'll be like, let's go get ice cream. <laughs> Wow. Well, I know. I know. <laughs> yes. Do as we say, not as we right. do. Right? <laughs> no, I really do. I I want to do the the fruit, the seasonal fruit. I mean, honestly, like for mm-hmm. the financial component, if nothing else, like if if finances aren't really that big of a deal, you can go to Whole Foods and buy fruit that has been um, canned in water and honey and do all of the grand things. We I just can't. Uh, we can't do it, and we can't do it on that large of a scale. I do it. I just do typically it, so. put it in the freezer. I'm a bagger, you know. Yeah. Put it in the mm-hmm. freezer. So, yeah, no, it'll it'll be good. I need to. I, I mean, I think it could be something as easy as having the little girls help mm-hmm. prepare the fruit and make a day of it. But I know we have peaches. Like we do. Mm-hmm. The, although mm-hmm. I just saw something online where they said I think that their the crop is terrible this year. Yes. What? So, look for the price hike. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I always get Brian peaches from the peach truck for our anniversary, but. Maybe not. Well, you may have looked. to take out a second mortgage. In order I, to get well, them. they are already first mortgage worthy. I mean, oh my goodness. Oh they're my so goodness. unbelievably expensive. But they're delicious. Have you ever gotten them from the peach shop? I've mm-hmm. never had them. But what? our farmer, local farmer's market, they're they're good there. We they're, have, they're probably we have not farmer expensive. neighbors who are like, come pick. Are yeah, you? but they're not from Georgia. So? They don't taste the same. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia peach. Georgia peach. I don't know. Yes. We'll have to trade. 
Yeah, I don't listen. I don't eat peaches. <laughs> Wow! Well, well. I'm just telling Girl, people how, eat peaches. So how do you know? <laughs> this is my husband. My husband, like we've tried all the peaches. Oh, and he is your foodie. He and he, but it, and peaches are like his favorite fruit. So this is this is why it's a big deal for him every year that we get them from there because he swears they're not like anything up here. So when you're dry canning, just mm-hmm. make sure you have the supplies for Rice Krispie treats. Oh my goodness! And then right, for my husband, you'll That's win your it. husband over. That's all he needs. He's he's been on this huge kick of making rice krispies lately. You told me this, and he <laughs> follows. Yeah, he's like he follows bragging about his recipe, skill set. But they're like every time he's like, "These are the best ones." No. <laughs> What's your secret? It's on the back <laughs> of the box. <laughs> What's your recipe? I stirred it exceptionally well this time. <laughs> yeah, he just gets into this kick now. If you are a rice krispie fan, which they're not my favorite, but peanut butter into the rice krispie tree recipe makes it way better. My kids had something that they volunteered last night at our dinner, and they had a Fruity Pebbles cookie. So oh, they took right. Fruity Pebbles and baked it into a cookie. And I was trying not to twitch from the food dyes, but it was really good, <laughs> and it tasted like childhood for but a it second. It would probably be a lot like Rice Krispie. You could probably do the same thing. That's what I would think, Fruity yeah. Pebbles. Yeah. I don't know what my yeah. kids had in their bags. They didn't share with you? They offered, but they were across the table. Sophia did not offer. Sophia, you're a bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> my girl's bad. So Sophia's like, leave me table. alone with my cookies, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, All right. Well, I'll have to give it a whirl. What's yes. fruits, fruits, and we'll see what's in season right now. I see everybody's picking strawberries. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's what's June in season. June is usually Do you strawberry. Pick? Do you have a you pick jam. place that you like? Circle S Farms. Really? Duh. Come <laughs> No, strawberries and there. pumpkins. Yeah, we've never gone to the Circle S for strawberries. Have you made I, strawberry you've rhubarb? Been there before? Oh, of course. Yes. yes. Like a strawberry rhubarb yes. jam. You've done I like that. The tangy. Yeah, I love rhubarb. I've Me done too. like nectarine and pineapple. I mean, oh I really have done. I, I've gone through kicks of trying all the weird flavors, but some of them were really good. Um, peach, strawberry is the best. I think. Interesting. Peach, strawberry. Those are my two favorites, though. If I had to pick, like, a cobbler or something, that's mm-hmm. what I'm going to have. Mm-hmm. Peach and strawberry. But I do, like, pear cobbler, too. Oh, wow. I know. It's, um... Oh, what's that cook? We just visited a restaurant when we were visiting my parents in Alabama. Paula Deen. Paula Deen. Mm-hmm. It's one of her mm-hmm. recipes. Yeah. And she thinks, like I do, like... Butter is like, <laughs> more butter. More butter, the better. Yeah, true. Butter and sugar make everything better. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. Interesting. All right, we'll I'll have to give it a whirl. I'm gonna have to. I need to take my little girls to do a U pick somewhere, and we'll mm-hmm. see what we can. Mm-hmm. We should plan a day. Do with it. Yeah, one of my girls, not one of my littles, but Rachel's, is doing canning. I think she's doing a canning project for 4-H. So Rachel is. Yeah. Oh wow, nice. We haven't started yet. Oh, okay. Fairs in like you know. Well, let me know weeks. if you all want to go pick strawberries. We'll go pick strawberries. Yeah, we'll actually do it. Yeah. I, I can't. I don't think I've done it since I was a kid. Pick strawberries. In Ooh, today, day. like this weather would be where you would be happiest. Mm-hmm. I know. Watch it's when we go. So it'll be gross. She will not be happy. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> she, likes, she likes picking pumpkins better. A hundred percent. Yeah. I know. Brian was standing at the front door with the door open today. And I'm like, how you doing? And he goes, oh. It needs to be like 20 degrees warmer mm-hmm. to make this right. And I'm like, I think it's fantastic. <laughs> when I was freezing, I had to bring my sweater and my socks out today. I yeah. know, it's so great. Like, special <laughs> weather is the best. In October. No. I'll take Did it Did you anytime. just say sweater weather? <laughs> sweater weather. Sweater weather and flip-flops. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope we've given enough information Oh yeah, I think it's so. good. I don't feel overwhelmed. It is really one of those things you can just try. Mm-hmm. Just but reach buy, out the, and try. buy the little starter kit of all the little gadgets. They're cheap, but it makes life so much mm-hmm. easier with the oh, magnet. The magnet and is, it's, yeah. it's like a game changer. Yeah, Walmart sells them. Amazon mm-hmm. anywhere. Yeah, I don't have the wand. I'm gonna have to get that part. Mm-hmm. So. Yes, keep everything sterile. Mm-hmm. Good to go. All right, ladies. Well, thanks. Thank you. It was lovely. Thank you. You can find us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, anywhere that you like to listen to your podcasts. We'll be there. And as always, we love listening or reading your reviews. And we appreciate when you leave them. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.